okay now welcome to the channel and welcome to the video we are learning uh, bioinformatics in that we are learning regarding database this series is about various database in that we have seen uh, that there are types of database based on type there are kind of structural database in structural database we have seen one kind of database that is pdb protein database in uh, a separate video now this is about another kind of protein database in fact the protein structural database that is cath c a t h why the name is given what is the advantage of this cath over pdb what are the few new things which are there in the cath that we will learn now okay cath so as the research in protein analysis were improving lots of researcher were trying to identify the structure of protein and they are solving the structure of protein with certain techniques so lots of data were generated throughout uh, regarding the protein and right now also lots of researcher are working on protein in finding the structure of protein so as the data were more uh, there is uh, there is a chance that we can identify the similarities between these two data right if we detect the similarities between the datas we can have a knowledge regarding evolutionary relationship also with this aim this cath was built this database and that is the benchmark uh, that, that is the advantage of this cath along with the structural information through this cath database you will able to identify the evolutionary relationship also the protein are grouped in such a way that you can identify the evolutionary relationship also okay so that is first advantage of cath over pdb now we know that this is a sequence of amino acid this is called as a primary structure of protein uh, before learning cath let's learn few basic things so that you can understood the process of cath easily this is a sequence of amino acid this sequence of amino acid will organize and it will create a secondary structure secondary structure se protein ka tertiary structure banta hai then there will be the quaternary structure that is the basic bio chemistry right now cath cath stand for c that is class a that is architecture t that is topology and h that is homology class architecture topology and homology by this words this is created that is c a t h this mentioned is the website for cath database of uh, according to few reference book uh, till now there are 34287 protein domains are submitted in this cath there are 1383 super families of protein which are submitted there are 32285 sequence families of protein this much amount of data is, is being available with cath uh, if you see the recent data it will be improved one right ये वैल्यूज में इंप्रूवमेंट आ चुका होगा ये वेल, ये वैल्यूज पहले की है कि इतना जो है वो डेटा अवेलेबल है नाउ बिफोर लर्निंग दिस डेटाबेस लेट्स लर्न व्हाट डू मीन बाय प्रोटीन फैमिलीज सो प्रोटीन फैमिलीज आर द ग्रुप ऑफ प्रोटीन्स व्हिच इज हैविंग द कॉमन इवोल्यूशनरी ओरिजिन सो इफ अ प्रोटीन इज देयर उसका कुछ ना कुछ दूसरे प्रोटीन के साथ स्ट्रक्चरल सिमिलैरिटी होगा तो बेस्ड ऑन सिमिलैरिटी प्रोटीन को अलग अलग ग्रुप में क्लासिफाई किया जाता है और उसको कहा जाता है प्रोटीन फैमिली राइट दिज आर द सीक्वेंसिस और द इफ सर्टेन प्रोटीन आर हैविंग स्ट्रक्चरल सिमिलैरिटी एज वेल एज सीक्वेंस सिमिलैरिटी दे आर ग्रुप इन वन ग्रुप दे आर कॉल्ड एज अ प्रोटीन फैमिली जैसे कि ये देखो एक सुपर फैमिली हुई दिज आर द क्लासेज राइट सब फैमिलीज हो एक सुपर फैमिली होगी कि जिसमें बहुत सारे प्रोटीन आएंगे बहुत सारी फैमिलीज उसके अंदर आएगी और वो बहुत सारी फैमिलीज जो है वो सब फैमिलीज में जो है वो डिवाइड होगी राइट ये इतनी चीजें समझ में आई ओके नाउ सेकंड थिंग आपको समझना है डोमेन के बारे में वॉट इज डोमेन सो डोमेन इज अ बेसिक स्ट्रक्चरल क्लासिफिकेशन यूनिट 
ऑफ प्रोटीन इसको कहा जाता है डोमेन जब भी भी हम कैथ के अंदर प्रोटीन को क्लासीफाई करते हैं बेस्ड ऑन इवोल्यूशन उसका जो बेसिक यूनिट होता है उसको कहा जाएगा डोमेन ओके सो यू शुड नो वॉट इज प्रोटीन फैमिलीज वॉट इज डोमेन बिफोर लर्निंग दिस कैथ हाई रेजली नाउ दिस स्लाइड विल एक्सप्लेन यू दिस स्लाइड विल एक्सप्लेन यू द प्रोसेस of how this cath that is c a t h is designed right so initially you will have a pdb file that is a structural in that contain the well resolved structure regarding uh, any protein right those structure are being compared with other structure which are available in the database If 35 percent similarity of that protein sequence or structure, structural similarity or sequence similarity, is obtained with other proteins which is present in the database already, they are grouped in a single family. They will considered in the single domain, right? This domain are grouped into PDB file of domain. Then this PDB file of domain. is compared with other pdb file of domain and other uh, if they get the similarity with the other family family domain uh, other pdb file domain they will group into single family after single family they are, they will given a name if the family uh, uh, they will they will given a class number and name then topology and homology similarity we observe based on the topology and similarity uh, homology similarity with the other proteins uh, architecture number is given and then there will be classification of that protein so basically starting from the pdb file initially similarity with the other protein is checked they are grouped into single pdb uh, family domain after one domain after grouping them into domain one domain is compared with other domains that domain if get similarity with so many domains they are grouped into a family domain after that class classification then topology and homological classification so in short we are dealing at the four level of classification c level a level t level and h level this is how this cla uh, classification of the protein based on similarity done in the cath web uh, cath database okay Uh, this is about the basic thing in next video we will see what are the different classes uh, different levels and what information we will get from the those levels c a t and h okay so thank you if you like the video uh, like it share it subscribe it subscribe the channel and uh, wait for the another video so that the cath classification cath database will be completed okay thank you